Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we discuss about the Boole's and Weddell's rule. In my previous video for numerical integration, we saw how to derive the new, new Simpson one third and Simpson three by eight rule and trapezoidal rule. Two more very basic formulas: Boole's integral and the Weddell rule. So, what is Boole's? For Simpson one third rule, we put uh, n is equal to 1, trapezoidal n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2 for Simpson 1 third, for th Simpson 3 by 8, put n is equal to 3. There is three terms uh, basically y0, y1, y2, or we can say f0, f1, f2. Now for Boole's, if we put n is equal to 4, if we put n is equal to 4, so available values are y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, and all the del 5, del 6 and the further derivatives are 0. So what is our integral look like x0 to x4 y dx. This we derive with the which our interpolation neutral forward interpolation formula from that. If we put x0 to x4 y dx our term is given by this 2h by 45 h is the interval what interval we that is fixed only for equal interval these formula works so 7y0 plus 32y1 plus 12y2 plus 32y3 plus 7y4 so this is for x0 to x4 next interval is x4 x0 for further and when we sum all the values Adding these all the integrals, our general formula or main formula which is called Boole's rule or Boole's integral formula is given by this integral x0 to x0 plus nh y dx is 2h by 45, 7y0, 32y1, 12y2, 32y3, then 14c. This term is 7 by 4 and for next integral for which integral x4 to x8 y dx if we talk about x4 to what is this 2h by 45 7 by 4 plus 32 by 5 plus 12 by 6 plus 32 by 7 plus 7 by 8. Clear? So, this is our second interval x4 to x8. Similarly, third interval x8 to x12 like that. So, see the only one term we repeating y4 is in this term also and y4 is here also. So, 7 plus 7 is 14. So, it will become 14 by 4. Similarly, the derivative of 4, 8, again 14 and so on. So, this formula works like that. This is called Boole's integral formula. Next, we proceed to the uh, Weddell rule or Weddell integral. What is Weddell? I can show you. This is Weddell rule. Weddell rule is with when put if n is equal to 6. For Boole's, we put n is equal to 4. Simpson 3 by 8, n is equal to 3. So, when put in the our formula, n is equal to 6. So, available values are y0, y1, y2, y3 till y6. And the all further derivative del 7, del 8 are going to be 0. So, what is our formula when we substitute from 0 to 6? x0 to x6, y dx is 3, h by 10 y0 plus 5y1 plus y2 plus 6y3 plus y4 plus 5y5 plus y6. Now similarly this is x0 to x6. Second interval is x6 to x12. Third is x12 to x18 and so on. So when we adding all these terms our general formula is given by x0 to x0 plus nhy dx is given by 3h by 10 y0 plus 5y1 plus y2 plus 6y3 plus y4 5 and y6 again at x6 to x12 there is one of y6 is there so y6 plus y6 become 2y6 then repeat the term is y12 y18 so all the repeating term is 
multiple of 6. So y6 become 2 times then same format. So last term is 5y n minus 1 plus y n. So this is our general rule or general formula for Weddell rule. Okay, so I show you one very basic example how to use this Weddell rule. If you have given some integral and tell that solve this with the help of Weddell rule, then just substitute the value of y0, y1, y2 and h in the formula and calculate it. That is just simple how to use the Weddell rule. So if we have the integral, for example, use Weddell rule. Solve the integral, solve the integral 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square. We have to solve this. If we can make this in 6 interval, the given the x and y, x 0, 1 by 6, 1 by 3, then 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 5 by 6 and 1. Regarding this, our values are, this is x0, so this is our y0, y0 is 1, y1 is 0 0.973, with this because here y is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square clear so when i put x equal to 0 y become 1 by 1 1 when i put x equal to 1 by 6 then our y become 0 0.9730 then 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.69723 0.5902 and 0 0.5. So these are my value regarding x. Now next is nothing. We have to substitute these value in our formula. So our formula going till y6 only. So all other term becomes 0. I substitute 3 h by 10. 3 h is c 0 to 1 by 6. So our h I use 1 by 6. So I put times 1 by 6 times 10. My y0 is this y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. So this is 2. So 1 by 20 is outside. 1 plus 5 times 0 0.9730 plus 0 0.9 plus 6 0 0.8 plus 0 0.6923 plus 5 times 0 0.5902 plus 0 0.5. Next step, you have to just sum it, calculate it and divide with sum it and then divide with the 1 by 20. Then you will get the result for this integral is 0 0.78542. So that is the required solution for given interval by using the Weddell formula. So that's all for numerical integration. Next, we move on the next topic. Thank you very much.